In this video, I will show how to set up the VNC remote desktop on your Raspberry Pi. VNC stands for Virtual Network Computing. This means that with VNC, you can work on your Raspberry Pi desktop from a Windows PC. To set up the VNC viewer, you will need the following. A Raspberry Pi with the Raspberry operating system, a Windows PC with internet, a monitor and an HDMI cable, this is to connect your Raspberry Pi, a USB mouse and keyboard to connect to your Raspberry Pi, VNC viewer for Windows, it's a free remote desktop software, and the Thing app and an Android phone. You can do without, but having this app makes it very convenient to find your IP address. So how does it work? First you need to have VNC installed on both your Windows PC and your Raspberry Pi. Raspbian OS has its standard installed, so you only need to install it on your Windows PC. Then both the Windows PC and the Raspberry Pi need to be connected to the same Wi-Fi router. The VNC software on the Raspberry Pi will then broadcast its desktop via the Wi-Fi network and you can access it from another computer via its IP address. Mouse movements and keystrokes on the Windows PC are sent back to the Raspberry Pi to enable you to work on the Raspbian desktop. VNC is pre-installed in the Raspbian operating system. This means that on your Raspberry Pi you only need to enable it. For this you go to the menu, preferences, Raspberry Pi configuration and you select interfaces. And here you can enable VNC. As you see I already enabled it. Well actually this video is recorded on a Windows PC via VNC. After enabling VNC you click OK and you need to restart your Raspberry Pi. After enabling VNC you need to get the Raspberry Pi's IP address. The easiest way to do that is click on the VNC icon and here you see the IP address 172.24.116.100. Please note this down because you will need that later. Now we will install VNC viewer on the Windows PC. For this we go to www.realvnc.com And we go to download and we want to download the VNC viewer. That means you have to click here. I will include the link in my comments and download the VNC viewer. When the download is complete, locate the file in your downloads folder. And run the file. Accept. Finish. And now you can find VNC Viewer here. To connect to your Raspberry Pi, you first need to make a new connection. Click on File, New Connection, and here enter the IP address of your Raspberry Pi that you noted down before. In my case, 172.24.116.100. Then enter a name for the connection. Let's call it My Pi VNC. Click on OK. A new icon appears. Double click on this icon. Then you have to enter a username and a password. The default username is Pi, and the default password is Raspberry. Click on OK. There we go. Cool, now you can see the Raspberry Pi's desktop and work on it from your Windows PC. You see everything just works as if you're working directly on your Raspberry Pi. So now this works, but how can we connect to the Pi if we do not have a keyboard and a monitor connected to it? Well, that can be done with Ping, and I'll explain that next. Another way to find the IP address of your Raspberry Pi is Ping. 
This Android app scans your network and makes a list of all connected devices. First make sure that your Android phone is connected to the same network as your Raspberry Pi. Then start Thing and scan the network. Scanning is relatively quick. After the scan is complete, you check the list and yes, there you go. Raspberry Pi's IP address is 192.168.114. That was it for this video. I hope it was useful for you. In the next video, we will set up Node-RED on your Raspberry Pi and connect it to the outside world.